Okay, what I want to illustrate now on this 97 Toyota Avalon is a ground side switch solenoid and how to be the computer and energize the solenoid when you don't have bi-directional controls. So I'm going to take a test light. Again, we found circuit design in a previous video. This bottom pin is my control wire. We know it's ground side switched. So I'm going to take a test light, connect it to battery ground. I have a test light connected right to the battery. As I touch battery positive, test light lights, definitely want to check that. When you touch the test light on the solenoid, you should hear a click. Test light's lighting because we're not really giving it a full ground, but it should be enough to energize the solenoid. So to check solenoid function, this is a vacuum solenoid. We want to start the car. Go ahead and start it. Start it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to energize the solenoid with a test light. If the solenoid's functional, it's going to send vacuum to my EGR valve, which is right there. The valve is going to open. The other thing that's going to happen on my scan data, my EGR valve position sensor voltage, which is at one volt right now, is going to rise. Listen for it. See the voltage rise? What happened? As I energize the solenoid, that valve opened. There's a position sensor on top. So I take this again, touching the test light, forcing vacuum to the EGR valve. Watch my EVP signal. It rose, and my EGR temperature should be rising, telling you flow through that EGR passage, and it is rising as well. That is how you manually force a solenoid to work when you want it to, testing the system very, very quickly. Ground side switch solenoid, be the computer, energize the solenoid, that's how you do it. Okay, last comment with this video was the purpose in doing this. Systems don't always offer bi-directional controls. You can't always turn that solenoid on with the scan tool. You need to be able to do it manually. And even systems that do offer bi-directional controls, they won't let you do it with the car running. They might only let you do it with the car off. This test is necessary to do to ensure that the EGR system was functional and that there was no plugged up passages. You have to energize the circuit, open the EGR valve with the engine idling. The fact that it got really rough tells you the passages are clear. It is a necessary test for the engine idling. Sure, you can use a hand vacuum pump, open up the valve, but there's so many other variables on an EGR system. You have to know how to do this. Ground side switching, identify the circuit, Identify the control wire, be the computer, and energize it. Again, that's how you do it.